So now in this video, I'm going to get into part B, which is h of x equals log base 3 of x plus 3. So when I look at this graph or this equation, that plus 3 tells me we are going to shift log base 3 of x to the left 3 units, okay? So we have our table from above, right? It's going to have this vertical asymptote here. And we know f of x goes through um, 9, 2, 3, 1, 1, 0. And then this is 1 third, negative 1, right? These last two are just really showing that we're getting close to this vertical asymptote. So this is f of x. So we need to shift everything left three units. Uh, I remember this is x equals zero. So that means that our vertical asymptote is also going to be shifted left three units. So here is my new vertical asymptote, x equals negative three. And then everything else is gonna be shifted left three units, one, two, three, one, two, three. This one left, one, two, three. This one left, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, All right? Those last two are pretty good. So this is now h of x. So we see from shifting left three, our vertical asymptote shifts left three. And now our domain is going to change. It's now from negative 3 to infinity. And our range is still the same, negative infinity to infinity.